What's up travelers? Today we're in Florence, Italy. I just ordered a vegetarian soup, uh, Florentine style, and then I ordered sliced chicken with rocher and some sort of a cheese. Hello, my name is Varun, a really cool guy in a boat. You can be really cool guy like Varun if you subscribe to Tasting Travel right now. If you do not subscribe, I'll be ah ah. You're welcome. We are sitting here at Trattoria Cati. I'll leave a link down in the description. This is a regular Tuscan restaurant here in Florence. A little bit off the beaten path, so I came here. They're not really busy, but that could change any time while we're here. I just ordered a vegetarian soup, uh, Florentine style, and then I ordered uh, sliced chicken with uh, rocher some sort of a cheese, I can't remember what kind it is. Oh, there's so many cheeses here, you can't keep up with them all. <laughs> Alright, she just brought me some deep fried bread, so I guess we're just gonna have to check that out right now. that looks like. Oh yeah. That's good. That is... Yeah, that's... That's the way to start out a meal. Something about deep fried dough. <laughs> got our vegetable soup Florentine and uh, this looks pretty amazing uh, so they, they cook the vegetable soup and then they add bread to it and it turns it into this glop here <laughs> glop <laughs> all right so let's give it a taste here. delicious. That's the good stuff. And then they also gave us some cheese to add to it. There 
here are just awesome. I can taste celery, there's some carrot, probably some radicchio, some cabbage, something like that. Maybe some peas. It's hard to tell because it's all been blended up so well. But then there's that bread that just kind of holds it all together. <laughs> Yeah. It's so thick. And so delicious. This may have been a meal by itself. We <laughs> might not have needed the chicken. <laughs> For some reason, the spoons here in Italy are just enormous. <laughs> States and then it's got some, uh, some grape tomatoes as well so let's start off by just trying some of this cheese mm. that's sharp I gotta say I'm not really a fan of that cheese that is hefty but you know if you don't try it, you don't know if you like it or not. Let's go with some of this chicken here. Okay. Okay. Mm. Marinade on that chicken is superb. It brings back memories of my childhood. There was this little restaurant, a little mom and pop's restaurant, that was a little drive-in place that we could go to. It was called Hummer's in Centralia, Washington when I was they had these chicken sandwiches and they were just my favorite thing in the world to eat. The flavor of the chicken was unmatched. They closed down years and years ago and I'm so sad that that happened. The flavor of this chicken, it kind of reminds me of it. And, uh, it makes me happy. Tomatoes in this country. <laughs> I tell you what, man. If you come to Italy and you don't indulge in tomatoes, you don't know what you're missing. So I think, you know, it's not their fault that I don't like the cheese on this. The chicken is amazing. The soup was just spot on perfect. That fried bread was, <laughs> was such a way to open up a, a meal. If you're ever here in Florence, yeah, come check this place out. Now, again, I said I'd leave a link down in the description. So go ahead and look for it there. There's also some other links and stuff down there that you know, can help out my channel. Uh, if you click on them and check them out. I'm Tony, I'm Tasting Travel, so like, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and we will send you a message whenever we release a new video, and as always, eat great food.